Hey guys, I'm Jay, and today we're looking at a damn handsome Hogue EX03. As usual, we'll get started with the features, then we'll compare this to some other knives on the table. And now make sure you stick around until the end so you can see the full specs on this. And if you're a subscriber, you will see your name at the end in the credits. Now I know that you guys are really busy, so I just want to quickly remind you to click on that subscribe button if you're looking for knife reviews that get right to the point. Now for those of you that don't know, Hogue is a US manufacturer, and the EX03 is a manual action plunge lock. And that lock is not at all ambidextrous, even though it looks like it this button is really, this is just a platform for your finger. And there is a safety on the other side as well. However, that safety only locks the blade in the open position. It does not prevent it from opening up in your pocket. Now the blade is riding on bronze washers. Deployment is accomplished with either the, the thumb studs or you can just push down that plunge lock, kind of like how like a, the Benchmade uh, axis lock, same kind of deal. Now, this blade is three and a half inches long and 3.75 millimeter thick of 154 cm blade steel. The handle is 4.75 inches. So the blade to handle ratio is, is not too bad at all on this EX03. Now the thickness of that handle, there's I actually have two measurements for you because down here at the end, it is, it's a lot thinner and then it kind of tapers to a wider section. So it starts at 0.47 inches and then up at the top by the pivot, it's 0.58 inches thick. Now the closed width, so how much room that this is actually going to take up in your pocket is just going to be 1.35 inches. If we look at the spine of the handle, you can see it is pretty much closed construction. And Hogue is actually calling this, this handle a, a, a one-piece design. However, if you look really close, guys, there is a seam there. So it is, in fact, two pieces that are pretty much just kind of more or less glued together because there are no screws for you to completely take this apart. Now, if you're not crazy about this version of the EX-03, that's okay. Hogue has you covered there because there are there are many different models. I mean, in just talking about the EX03, you can get this in either a aluminum scales or uh, something that they call Gmascus. So, which is like a combination of G10 and Damascus. And there is also another series called the EX01, and now that series. You see here at the tip of the handle, there's that like this this pointed area that does not appear on the uh, EX01, and that one can also be found with aluminum or the Gmascus scales. There is also a uh, a four inch blade length EX01 and 03, but all of them have the same blade steel. They all have this 154. CM. Okay, let's just go ahead and get a weight on this guy here. 4.3 ounces. Not bad, not bad. That's going to be about the equivalent of one, two, three, four, five, five double A batteries. All right, what do you say we just go ahead and bring in a couple other knives for comparison's sake? And we're going to start out with the Buck 110 and Spyderco Paramilitary 2, uh, Benchmade, Griptilian. Do we have room for one more? Let's do one more. 
Oh, uh, it's going to be another Spider Co. There we go. The Native 5. So they're all pretty much similar in length, with the exception of the uh, Native 5, of course. All right, let's do my seven likes and uh, dislikes. So let's start with uh, number one, the curb appeal. So the appearance, the aesthetics, how it looks. I really like the curb appeal of the Hogue EX-03. And if you look at this really nice looking high, it's got a very high flat grind with that long, you guys see that long swedge that takes up, well, about three quarters of the blade and it is a drop point with a stonewashed finish. Now, I'm not crazy about the point on the end there, and I actually considered chopping this off, but I don't know. You guys should let me know in the comments section. Do you guys think I should chop this point off, or would that just ruin the knife? Let me know, because I'm thinking about doing it. Number two, the materials. Well, unfortunately, this is going to be my first gripe. Yep. I am not crazy about 154 CM blade steel. The corrosion resistance is just, you know, marginally better than OS 8. And I know I've said this before in past reviews, and I would take VG10 over 154 CM any day. I mean, I know you can do a lot worse than 154 CM, but I just think, you know, this this was a great steel, what, seven, five, seven years ago. I mean, I don't know, at least S30V, especially when you consider the price, which I am going to get to very, very soon. The handle material, it's good. I mean, it's... I mean, it's a glass-filled nylon, and it's probably the strongest GFN handle I, I have ever seen or felt. I mean, let's see if you guys can see that. There is absolutely no flex in this polymer whatsoever. So that's a good choice. And the, the bronze washers in there, I mean, this... This is definitely uh, considered more of a, a hard use knife. So, you know, bronze washers, good choice, easy to clean, easy to maintain. Number three, well, the function, which I like as well. The, the action on the EX-03 is, it's absolutely incredible. I got to tell you guys, I'm trying to show you how it just kind of swings free, but not able to get it too good at this angle. Oh, there it is. Look at that. That's, I mean, the action on this thing is, it's, it's one of the best that I have ever handled. Uh, let me just show you. So then if I just go ahead and push on the plunge lock. Wait. There you go. Let me do that one more time. Look at that. That is just absolutely phenomenal. The centering is almost perfect, actually. Now, because of that incredible action, that makes this knife very, very fidget friendly. It is a lot of fun to play with. And did you notice the, the stop pin? up here and that's actually of decent thickness as well and it is yeah it looks like it's adjustable too so that's nice number four in the hand i like very very comfortable in the hand you can see i have medium sized hands so i can fit all of my fingers on there. I mean this this the this polymer material really does provide some fantastic traction. And if you look at here on the show side, yeah, there's even some more like rough texture kind of built into the handle. 
Now there are four spots of jimping on the EX03. So if we look at here, up at the top, it's gonna to be tough to see because it is not aggressive at all. Uh, right there, where the backspacer kind of would be. And I know there's another one. Oh yeah, right here, down towards the butt end of the handle. And on the spine of the blade, I, now when I say jimping on the spine of the blade, I use that term very, very loosely because it really, it doesn't really feel, I mean, is it bumpy? Sure. But I don't know, it is probably the, the least aggressive jimping I have ever felt on a knife before. And I also like these little uh, access ramps. And they do appear on both sides, but it makes just kind of getting at the, uh, the thumb studs really nice and easy. Balance. It is, I don't know if you guys can see this, but if you can see where I have to balance it. Yeah, this knife is very, very blade heavy. And you know, of course, that's because of the polymer handles. Number five, in the pocket. I gave this a like. Now the clip is either tip up or tip down but that's just righties only. And of course, of course, the clip on here is not the stock clip that comes with it. You will actually, you get this one. So let me just go ahead and lay, overlay it right there so you guys can see that. Now when it's tipped down with the stock clip, it does, it does ride a lot deeper, however, when it's tip up, there is a lot more handle that's gonna be sticking out of your pocket. It's not a ton, but again, I, it's just something that I want you to be aware of. Now the closed width and the thickness are fine. We said closed width of 1.35 inches and a handle thickness from 0.47 all the way up to 0.58, so I just want to hold that up against a pencil so you can see yeah, it is a little bit, a little bit thicker than a pencil. Number six, the weight. So for this one, I just want to bring the scale back in. So we said 4.2 ounces. So that is going to put you in the same ballpark as cold steel. American Lawman, and should be pretty close to the Griptilian as well, and it is, yeah. So that's gonna put you around the same territory as the Griptilian and the Cold Steel American Lawman. And finally, number seven, the price. I do not like the price at all. $135 for 154cm blade steel and basically what is a, you know, come on, it's a plastic handle. $135, you know what, and that puts you in the same ballpark as the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. I mean, which, which would you rather own? I can tell you, I would go with the PM2. So yeah, one one thirty five. That's just that's way way too much money. I would probably feel a lot better at about ninety to a hundred bucks for the EX 3 So now to very very quickly summarize, we said curb appeal. So the appearance is alike. Materials was I don't like. Uh, the function was alike, a lot of fun to play with. In the hand was alike, um, in the pocket was alike, and the weight I like, the price don't like. 
what does that give us? So those of you keeping score at home, that's about five to two. So, you know what? It It is a fun night. I will say that. It is, this thing is a blast. So I do, I mean, even though the numbers show that this is something I would recommend, I have to put a disclaimer on the end of that because at 135 bucks, I do not recommend this at 135 bucks at all. I mean, we already said that's PM2 territory. I mean, that's just that's that's just what uh, 20 bucks less than a native five in S110 V. So at one hundred and thirty-five dollars, absolutely not. Unless you're in love with it, then by all means, because it it is a good knife. It it's a very well-made knife. I mean, this this handle, this has got to be some of the strongest plastic that you can find. And again, it is a lot of fun, and that's just on bronze washers. So at one hundred and thirty-five bucks, I would have to say no. If you can find this on sale for even at, you know what, I would go as high as 110, 115. And that's only if you're just in love with the design. But, I mean, because it, it is, it's a good hard use work knife. But not for $135. Now, for those of you uh, lefties out there, like myself, I, I just I want to also warn you that this is not the best knife for left-handed individuals because of that plunge lock only being on the one side, the pocket clip being just for righties only. Not only that, but also you really have to bear kind of bear down on that lock to kind of get it to close. So you see that? So it, it's a lot harder to do with your index finger than it would be to do with your with your thumb. It would be simple. So this makes this just not the best lefty knife. And I almost forgot, oh my goodness, the zipper pouch. That's where that 135, okay, well now that makes it, oh my gosh, give me two. No, I'm kidding, but yeah, you get a little Actually, this is probably one of the smaller pouches that I've seen from a knife manufacturer. But, you know, it's still I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. I mean, they still do give you a pouch. Now, before we go, I just want to uh, leave you guys with a question that I touched on a little bit earlier. And it's regarding this, this tip here. Because I am seriously considering chopping this thing off. So I just want to hear from you guys. What do you think? Should I go ahead and do it? Should I go ahead and file it down? Or should I not mess with or, You know, don't mess with it, Jay. You're going to jack it up. That's probably... I should probably listen to that advice. But yeah, let me know in the comment section below. Should I chop this, uh, this pointy thing off? Let me know what you think. Now, if this video about the Hogue EX03 answered most of your questions, hey, why not just go ahead and just leave a like, would you? Now, don't go anywhere because I'm going to show you the full specs here in just a second. But I want to thank you guys for stopping by and letting me talk knives with you. And I will see you at the next video. You guys take care, okay?